So here we have the Audi A3 Cabriolet Sport. I'm going to show you around the outside of the car first of all, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. As you can see at the moment, we've got the roof down. Uh, I'll finish the video with the roof up so you can see that working as well. Now what I'll do is start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space given that it's a convertible. The car also comes with this a kind of cargo net section and a windbreak included in that case there. So we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll jump in and run through some controls. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in fantastic condition the whole way round. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start off with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. You can see the total miles for this car are 71,190. We have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges in the middle at the top. If we work our way over into the centre console area, we have the parrot kit, which will be staying in the car, and then we have the stereo. Uh, so firstly, with regards to the radio, we have FM and AM radio available. We have a CD player, which you can see just there. This car also has auxiliary input, so you can plug in a device and listen to music that way as well, should you wish to. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the temperature independently on either side of the car. So that's the passenger side, driver side. That button will turn the air conditioning on. You can then adjust the fan speed in the middle here, or hit auto, and the car will take complete control of the climate control and maintain 17 and a half degrees and 20 degrees. You can then determine where within the car you would like the air to be distributed. We can send the air conditioning to the front screen to demiss that and we've got a proper heated rear screen just there. We then have the six speed manual gearbox, a cigarette lighter so you can use that as a 12 volt charging socket so you could charge your phone for example. That's the button for the roof, which we're going to come back to in a second, and the auxiliary input is just there. So the very last thing I wanted to demonstrate is the roof. If I push the button for the roof down, you'll see that it comes up. It's an incredibly quick roof. It only takes nine seconds, both up and down, to lock into place. And if I keep the button held, all four windows will do up as well. I just wanted to finish on the paperwork for the car. So this is the service book. Uh, you can see that it's got a fully stamped service record all the way through until the 30th of April of this year so literally just a couple of weeks ago when it was last done uh, on top of that uh, we have an invoice just here dated the 11th of the 7th 17 so under a year ago uh, showing that we had the cam belt replaced we then have the MOT certificate which expires on the 12th of April 2019 so plenty of MOT left we obviously also hold the uh, V5 registration document for the car, the main book packs of all the instruction manuals and what have you in there, and two uh, fully working keys as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car and have a test drive, please feel free to give me a call. I'd love to hear from you soon.